Hey you guys, what's going on? It's Teenage Night, and I am back with some more Kevin Harper. This week we're in the Tax Slayer Gator Bowl, facing the Florida Gators. Who is favored to win this game? The Florida Gators are favored to win. Well, that gives me high hope. How is their run defense? 43rd in the country, and their pass defense is number 4, so we better not be throwing a lot today. And we will look at stats. Actually, I was going to look at them before the game. But we will look at stats afterwards. For right now, let's just go ahead and get into our last game of Kevin Harper's freshman season. So last game that we saw Kevin Harper in, had we won, we would have gone to the Big Ten Championship against Nebraska. But we lost to Penn State in overtime 26-23. This week, we are playing Florida in the Gator Bowl. That's how far we have fallen. So we're off to a good start because our defense actually did get a stop against Florida. And are we in the Gators Stadium? I feel like that's a slight home field advantage in a bowl game. And brought down. Honestly, I have no idea how the Gator Bowl works. And since it's 110% Florida fans in here, it looks like, this is pretty much an away game for us where, we're, where we are wearing home jerseys. Yep. So I'm going to look at this. And here we go. First run of the day, I'm going to gash them for a huge gain and a touchdown. Unless I zoned out, that was our first run today, right? 76-yard touchdown? That's one way to start our first ever bowl game. And our defense came up with another stop. And remember at the beginning of this video, they said Florida was favored. And we're not a good second half team, so don't get your hopes incredibly high yet. I mean, I had that good run, but I also had a couple good runs against Penn State. And now I'm screwing around on the punt return because I can. And, oh my god, are you serious? This is... That actually kind of worked, a 16-yard gain. That should not have worked in any way, shape, or form. And if I just saw that name correctly, Melvin Gordon is back today. So they have to deal with Kevin Harper and Melvin Gordon. And here we go. To the outside. First down. Okay, so it said they have like the 43rd run defense in the country. And I've already got two pretty decent gains on them. One of them a 76-yard touchdown. It looks like me and Gordon will be alternating carries a lot today. Because I've already been subbed out twice for him to come in. And that's a zero-yard gain. Okay. So Gordon kept our drive alive with a seven-yard gain. And now we will run the ball straight up the middle. Trying to get Kevin Harper's second touchdown on the day, and that is touchdown number 20 on the season. As a true freshman, that is kind of ridiculous. To kind of put that into perspective, Adrian Peterson got 19 his true freshman or his freshman year. I think he might have been a true freshman. And we let up a touchdown. That's understandable, I guess. All right, just hopefully we don't screw up too bad from here. I hate it whenever we decide to use this kicky formation because there's... I know it's going to me this time, but there's always a possibility that it's not. And Gordon is also back on the kick return team. I have four carries for 91 yards and two touchdowns right now. I would say we're off to a decent start. And now, get back to the outside. Juke and first down, 11-yard gain. Over 100 yards already. I got subbed out and we lost yards at, or more, uh, Melvin Gordon, I about said Morgan, Melvin Gordon got a negative run, which was probably very rare for him. 17 yard game from Kenzel Doe. They really don't have an answer for this Harper-Gordon combo because if I get subbed out, then Gordon gets like a seven or eight yard gain each time. And then, you know, I come in and do that. Third and eight, time to see what we can do on the receiving side of things all right never mind gonna go to the tight end who's wide open i tried to light up that db and gordon got it all the way down to the five and now kevin harper is gonna come in and try to take all the credit which i am 150 percent okay with touchdown kevin harper that's three today our kicker missed the extra point and i for some reason have a feeling that's gonna come back to bite us since we are not a second half team and it looks like we are going to go into halftime with a six-point lead unless we can score here. Uh, let's see what we can do right now. Second and nine. 
And uh, I don't what in the world? Okay, I'm not even sure what happened there. I didn't touch a single thing, and my guy went crazy. All right, here we go. Third and 16. And we're running the ball. Yep, coach is giving up this half. Had I been able to bounce that to the outside right there, I would have been gone. Okay, we do get the ball to start this second half, which is good. And now, all right, kick it deep. And, yeah, I, don't, I didn't know who to block. All the guys got blocked. I didn't know where to go. Okay, 20 to 14. Let's score on this drive so they don't have a chance to take the lead on their next drive. Please. And I tried to make a guy miss and couldn't do it. Four-yard gain. Got subbed out. Come back in at second and four. And let's see if this end around can do anything. You having to block someone. Jordan Frederick got a two-yard gain. You are garbage, sir. And now we're going to run the ball straight up the middle on third and two to see what we can do. Up the middle and first down. Okay, five-yard gain. I'm okay with that. 11 carries, 124 yards, and three touchdowns. This has been a pretty good debut bowl game, hasn't it? And seven-yard game. I mean, realistically, if you take away that one 76-yard run, I'm having an average game. But stat line-wise, it's looking pretty good. And, all right, okay, got a good couple blocks. And gone. Four touchdowns in our first bowl game. 38-yard touchdown run that time. And the defense holds. So now it's 27-14, and we're getting the ball back with the potential to make it 34-14. to And hopefully we don't blow that lead in one quarter. But hopefully we can score on this drive so we can have that lead going into the fourth. Because I absolutely know we can blow a 13-point lead. I know that's within our power. Okay, see what we can do on this play. All right. Make that guy miss. Uh, I've been able to make that guy miss. That could have been a huge gain. I need to get his stiff arm and stuff up. I got the 99 speed and acceleration. Now I just need to get everything else up to really high so I can just run people over. But only a true freshman. So, got to take it slow. Okay, second and nine. Halfback draw. Even a field goal on this drive would be huge. Because that would still make it a two-possession game if they went for two-point conversions on both touchdowns. 15 carries, 172 yards. And now it's third and 12. And, oh, no, where's he going with that? Did he get that first? Yes, he did. A.J. Jordan, 13-yard gain. Okay, so Gordon came in for a player two, and now it's second and 11. And we'll see if we can get open here. I actually really like this route. I'll take that back. I don't like that route anymore. No longer one of my favorite routes. Like I said, a field goal, I'd be okay with this drive. That'd still be a 16-point lead, and I don't think we could blow that. I don't think. Not going to guarantee anything. So now we're going to have to not blow this lead if he makes this. Stave has only thrown six passes today and only one incompletion. But still, and what's going on now? What What's going on? Please don't be stupid, guys. And I believe that was a false start. So now it's fourth and ten. So now it makes it even longer field goal. So this is a 36-yard attempt now. Hopefully he can make this. Kick is away, and it is good. And they must have turned the ball over because I did not come out for a punt return. So now starting the, in the beginning of the fourth quarter, we have a 16-point lead and the ball. And one of the best halfbacks in the country. Didn't look like it on that play, but I promise he will be in a couple years. 16 carries, 172 yards, and four TDs in his first ever bowl game. Yeah, I would say he had a pretty good day. And the day is also not over yet. That's a 12-yard gain. And I got subbed out. So I come back in. It's third and four, and now I'm blocking. But we still have a 16-point lead with three minutes to go. And I completely whipped on that block, and we did not get that first. Let's go for it. Too close to punt, but too far for field goals, so why not? See if he can get it on this play. Sends a man in motion. If anything else, just run it. All right, we got the first. That should not exactly seal the deal, but that puts a huge dent in their hopes. 
So from 20 yards out, let's see if we can take this all the way to the end zone and cross 200 yards and five TDs. Not happening on that play, three-yard gain. Now it's not happening on this drive for 200 yards, but it, the five touchdowns is still a dream, or at least a hope, not a dream. First and goal. We'll see if we can get to five TDs today. And it looks like I'm going to touchdown Kevin Harper. That's TD number five. Our kicker missed another extra point. Whatever. We're up by 22 points, and we've got the ball a minute 30 to go. We pretty much got the win sealed. Just trying to run down the clock now. And, oh, really? That guy was able to catch me even though we got blocked. Yeah, we're running the same play. Hurry up, offense. Let's go. We can do this. I'm seven yards away from 200 yards. And I think that'll be the third straight game, so... That's a four-yard gain. Nope, run it again. Three yards away. It's third and nine. I have two more plays to get this. Yes, I know I'm being selfish. We've already got the win. I'm going for my stats now. Did I get it? Seven-yard gain. I'm done. I got 200 yards. Five TDs. I'm good with these stats. And that is final. The Wisconsin Badgers have won the Tax Slayer Gator Bowl. 36-14 over the Florida Gators. Play of the game was Kevin Harper's first touchdown run. First of five, I might add. That was ridiculous today. Five touchdowns in our debut bowl game. I'm really excited for next season now. If I can upgrade, if I can upgrade his stiff arm and more of his juking, maybe, to where I can maybe cross three or four defenders on a plate rather than just one or two. I think we could be a very, very dangerous halfback. We already are, but we could be even more dangerous. 22 carries, 204 yards, 5 TDs. That's the way we're going to end the season. Um, I obviously don't know who we're playing next season to start, so I can't tell you here. But now we will go look at stats for the entire year. Okay, so first thing we will look at is the rushing stats. And as you can see, even in the few games Gordon played, he still played pretty good. But Kevin Harper, 225 carries, almost 1,800 yards, and 8-yard average and 23 touchdowns. He's a true freshman. This could be huge in just a couple years. I wish I had broken a lot more tackles, but I'm okay with what happened. And only 3 fumbles as a true freshman? That's pretty good. Passing-wise, Stave threw 5 picks and 10 TDs. He didn't really get to throw a lot because we did run the ball a lot. Um, receiving wise, as you can see, Kevin Harper led the team in receptions. That's pretty cool. I really hope we can throw more next year. Actually, no, I don't. I hope we run more. But now we will look and see how we compare to the rest of the country. So let's go over to NCAA. And we were second in touchdowns behind Jeffrey Whiteside, who had 31 on the season. Which is crazy because that's not even the record. Yards, who... Well, that dude had a negative 38, what? Oh, it's a quarterback, okay. Uh, we were also second in yards, but were we first in average? Yes, we were. We averaged more yards a carry. And... 20-plus yard gains. Oh, we dominated that category. Fumbles, who fumbled the most? Temple's running back, okay. Okay. Um, let's go over and just see what happened on the passing side of things. I know this is going to be a longer video, but I, I like to look at all this stuff. I don't know why. The quarterback from Marshall led the league, or nation, in passing yards. Behind Sean Mannion and then John O'Corn, Jameis Winston. Touchdowns was Winston. Interceptions. The quarterback from Tennessee, Joshua Dobbs. Receiving wise, Josh Harper. Um, receiving yards, Deontay Greenberry from Houston. Touchdowns, Bradley Marquez tied with Laquan Treadwell from Ole Miss. Okay, so now we will go see how the rest of the bowl games went, I guess. So I'm just going to kind of scroll through these and you can look at them if you want. I'll pretty much com I'll commentate over all of them. Oh my God, Texas A&M. Was that necessary? They were apparently very ticked off. They played bad this year. Had they played like that all season, they might not have been in the Beef O'Brady's Bowl. 
Okay, so now we're continuing on, and like I said, any big blowouts or anything like that, I will definitely make a note of. Uh, nothing really important yet, except for TCU beating Miami. It's pretty important. Uh, still scrolling down. Well, that was a close game. OU lost their bowl game. What else is new? Okay, so Oklahoma State won. Auburn beat Marshall. Let's get down to the important games. Like the Gator Bowl. Wisconsin beat Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Wisconsin beat Florida 36-14. Um, the Rose Bowl. Nebraska got absolutely thrashed. So it's probably a good thing we weren't in that game. West Virginia got absolutely stomped by Bowling Green. Ole Miss beat Louisville. Uh, Ohio State beat Stanford. Kansas State beat South Carolina. And I think the one after this is the national championship. No, is it after this? Yes. Georgia won the national championship. What? Honestly, it's not even actually a surprise, I guess. But yep, Georgia defeats Florida State 27-23. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this season, and hopefully you come back for the sophomore season. But I will talk to you guys next year.